it's Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey. I, I can't do an Irish whiskey accent. What's up everyone, I am Jason C and today on the Master and Drum we are talking about Irish whiskey with St. Paddy's Day coming around real soon. I figured this would be a cool opportunity to review the new Redbreast small batch cast strength. That's right, no more 12 year old age statement. We will get into that in a bit, but for now let's take a closer look at the US exclusive Redbreast cast strength small batch here on the Master and Drum. As I've mentioned before, Irish whiskey continues to be one of the fastest growing spirit categories in the US. According to the Distilled Spirits Council, generating revenues of over a billion dollars for the distilleries. Now that's a lot of whiskey, a lot of cash, a lot of coin, especially considering that Irish whiskey is competing in the US market uh, that's more focused on bourbon and American whiskeys than ever before. Newer distilleries like Teeling, Dublin Liberties, and Waterford distilleries are gaining traction for their high-end Irish whiskeys, but the many popular brands produced at the New Middleton distillery just outside of Cork continue to dominate, including Jameson, Powers, and Redbreast. Now, when you think single pot still Irish whiskey, most will think Redbreast immediately. It's a highly respected brand that has age statements of 12, 15, and 21 years in its core lineup, as well as the ever popular 12 year cast strength and a sherry cask finished version named the Lustau. These are all made from a single pot still, which means that it's made from a mash bill of malted and unmalted barley and distilled in a pot still instead of a column still at one distillery. So what makes this Redbreast small batch so special? Well, I'm glad you asked. Back in 2018, Middleton master blender Billy Layton and assistant blender Dave McCabe announced the launch of a special range of Redbreast Irish whiskeys solely for the American market. This release was touted as a celebration of the growth of Redbreast in the US and kind of a reward for the patient and loyal Redbreast consumers across the United States. So that was a release of four small batches of Redbreast single pot still Irish whiskey. They were aged for about 14 years and bottled at cast strength. The experimental range was released from Massachusetts and California, specifically Boston, San Francisco, and San Diego. Each market had access to one of each batch. You had an A, B, C, and D batch, and each batch per market had a total of only about 252 bottles for about 100 bucks each. They were basically Redbreast Irish whiskey store picks. So my theory is that for those different batches that were also different in flavors, Redbreast was basically testing the market in lieu of releasing this bottle right here in 2021. Now, while all this was happening, rumors of this bottle right here, the popular Redbreast 12 year cast strength going away, started gaining steam. Now, even though no official statement has been made by Redbreast that, is, that it actually is going away, there has been no TTB filings for Redbreast cast strength since the 2019 batches were released. In fact, the only new label that's been filed by them since March of 2020 has been this bottle right here, the new Redbreast small batch cast strength. All right, so here are the details for the new Redbreast small batch cast strength. I wanna thank my buddy Donald Rance up in Canada, I call him the Irish Whiskey Yoda, for providing a lot of the details that you know were a little bit hard to find. So even though this is non-age stated, this is actually a nine-year-old single pot still Irish whiskey made from a mash of malted and unmalted barley. It's a blend of ex-bourbon and Spanish sherry butts and then vatted together into an Oloroso sherry cask for an additional 10 weeks. So you're looking at, you know, it, it's essentially the same process they use for the Red Breast Lustau with a shorter finishing time and higher ABV. Now this particular batch is batch B1 slash 19 and bottled at cast strength which is 117.4 proof. This is a US exclusive and only 12,000 bottles will be available. Now I got this here in Ohio for about 103 bucks. All right, so looking at the color, it's actually pretty light. It's pretty light in color there. You know, typical Irish uh, Irish whiskey color profile. Let's go to the nose, see what we get, guys. 
So it's very floral. It's the first thing I notice off the bat. Touch of honey here. This is gonna sound weird. You know what this smells like? You guys know Quaker Oats, Quaker Oat Oatmeal? Quaker, they make a strawberry, like a Quaker Oats Oatmeal strawberry flavor. And when you open the pouch and like the, like the Quaker Oats dust comes out and it hits you in the face, that's what this smells like. I'm getting like that strawberry, like that artificial strawberry, oatmeal-y like dust smacking me in the face. Which may sound weird and bad, but it's actually kind of sweet and good. <laughs> yeah, slight hint of pineapple here. There's a grassy note to this. I'm definitely getting like a little bit of youth coming through. Even though this is nine years old, there's a grassy and herbal note coming from the nose as well. Interesting. So this is about my third or fourth sip of this one, uh, or pour, I should say. So I will say from the, from the get-go, I wasn't crazy about the neck pour of this one. Uh, but as this has opened up and gotten a little bit air in the bottle, it's definitely gotten a little bit sweeter and more of those sherry cask influences are coming through. There's like a sun-made raisin like box smell coming through as well, which is kind of nice. So the sherry influence is there. But yeah, I mean, strawberry, little wave of pineapple, the strawberry oatmeal note I'm getting here, the raisin. Yeah, and that herbal like grassy quality. So uh, let's see what we got on the palate. Cheers, let's see if this is open up a little bit. Mmm. Whoa, that has gotten fruitier. Ton of caramel coming through on here. Caramel apple. Again, getting more of that strawberry note, little strawberry there. There's a citrus note there too. Now whether it's, I don't know if it's orange, it's a little bit more tart, maybe more on like a lime or, or a lemon type flavor that I'm getting too. It's also pretty spicy. That herbal and grassy note is coming through on the back end a little bit too. Let's go for another sip. Well, it really does kind of take you on a little bit of a ride here. Um, right up front, huge punch of caramel apple. Once it hits the mid palate, the strawberry, the raisin, the fruit notes, all those sherry influences really come through. Then on the back end, herbal, grassy, a little bit of a nuttiness quality comes through as well. It's very rounded, yet also there's some youthfulness to it as well. It's, it's interesting. It's not... It's not like this really nice, like smooth Irish whiskey experience, but you would think that if it stopped like mid palate. So it's like you take a sip, you get all the caramel, all the sweetness, and the fruit notes come in, and you're like, oh wow, that's this is really good. And then right on the back end, you kind of get hit with like this youthfulness characteristic to it. Let's go for another sip. We'll talk about the finish. This is more like black pepper and uh, maybe even like cayenne pepper. It's got like a, just a, like a touch of just like an extra like zing to it on the back end. Um, it's very floral too on the back end. You're getting a little bit of a floral quality as well. Again, coming through from that malted and unmalted barley, I think. Get a little bit of a lemon zing on the very back end as well to go along with that grassiness and the nuttiness. I mean, it's a lot going on, but it does drink... I feel like it's 117 proof, but I feel like it's drinking a little bit hotter than that. Yeah, 117.4. I just feel like it's drinking, it's coming off a little bit hotter, you know, than, uh, than that. I think the spiciness and the grassiness and the youth is kind of showing up on the back end, whereas it's really just nice, sweet and fruity, you know, in the front and mid palate. All right, one last sip, we'll do a quick comparison. All right, the more, I, the more I'm sipping this, um, the fruit is staying but it's kind of wavering a little bit, the strength of the fruit characteristics here. And it's kind of getting taken over a little bit more by the, you know, by that grassy, by that uh, like oatmeal, strawberry oatmeal note. Like I said, it's not a bad thing, but it's just starting to take over a little bit more. And the bite and the pepper, the herbal, the grassy quality that's kind of coming through is definitely starting to come to the forefront a little bit more. I don't know, this one is, it's weird for me. Um, well, all right, let's 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 compare it to two other favorites and uh, and see how this actually stacks up. That might help, you know, maybe discern, you know, whether I'm really liking this or I'm not that crazy about it. All right, guys, we are back. So here's what we're gonna compare real quick. We have one of the older Redbreast Cast Strength 12s, which 
The rumor is that it is going away. This is one of the older ones. This one I got in 2017. Um, apparently the newer batches that were released the last uh, year or so have not been up to par. Not nearly as good as the older ones. So if you guys still do see these on the shelf, probably grab one of the older ones if you can. Uh, the newer ones, for whatever reason, just haven't really been up to par, especially when compared to some of the older batches. Now this is a 12 year old pot still Irish, single pot still Irish whiskey. This is exclusively aged in sherry casks and this retailed for about 75 to 80 ish dollars around there. We have the new red breast cast strength small batch and we're also gonna compare it to the Blue Spot. Now the Blue Spot cast strength seven year old um, it's 58.7% ABV. It does carry that seven year age statement, but it's also reported to be made with whiskeys ranging from seven to 20 years old. Now those whiskeys were aged in a combination of ex bourbon, Oloroso sherry, and Madeira casks. It's non-chill filtered, and it's about 95 bucks and slightly cheaper than the new Redbreast cast strength small batch. So let's do a quick comparison. Oh man, the nose on the, on the cast strength, the 12 cast strength is just awesome. It's like pineapples, apricots, 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 <laughs> however you say it. Tomatoes, tomatoes. No, there's no tomatoes or tomatoes in here. Just saying. That's an example. There is apricots in there though. Apricots. Yeah, a little bit of pineapple, raisins. It's a little bit more of a, of a nutty characteristic here too from the, uh, from the sherry. Yeah, I mean, when you compare it to the red breast and the colors here, the color difference, this is a lot darker here than the uh, than the small batch. So the red breast small batch cast strength, this is really it's it's more bourbon heavy. I think you have the you have that slight wave of pineapple, the strawberry flavors there, I think, from the from a nose standpoint, a little bit on the palate as well. But this is really just a lot of caramel and vanilla. I'm getting a lot of bourbon ex bourbon influence on the nose here. So for you bourbon drinkers, this might be a nice uh, entry into Irish whiskey. Raisin and nuttiness. All right, let's go to the blue spot, which has all sorts of different casts going on here. Oh, the blue spot seven. Blue spot is just all pineapple, mint. There is like that citrus note too that I'm picking up a little bit on the small batch cast strength, that citrus quality. It's definitely more of like a lime zest, I think, on the Blue Spot 7. It's a little bit richer on the nose too. I think that combination of casks really just makes this an, an amazing whiskey. Yeah, the Madeira influence really gives it a nice nutty profile as well. Just a little bit more rounded. All right, let's go for a sip of the 12 year here. Oh my God, the 12 year is amazing. Now this is only 116.4 proof compared to the 117.4 proof that we have here. This, the, the old 12 year drinks a lot more like a nice Irish whiskey to me than this does. This has all that sweetness, like the, the toasted like honey butter bread just wrapped in just, you know, raisins and strawberries and dark fruits and Oh my goodness. I am literally getting like no sort of like bite or burn to it at all. I mean, there's a slight pepperiness to it, but it's not nearly as prevalent like I'm getting here on the small batch cast rank. This is just, yeah, that pepperiness is still going, but it's not like biting me. It's not like biting me back like the small batch one is. All right, let's go for another sip of the small batch here. Yeah, I think when you do the comparison, the red breast small batch is showing its youth a little bit. Yeah, that herbal quality to it that's coming through. It is very peppery. It definitely kind of bites you back on the back end, which, you know, some people love Irish whiskey because it is, you know, a nice, easy sipping type of flavor profile. And even at cast strength, some of these drink really nice and easy. Um, they drink, you know, they, they kind of defy their proof point, especially at cast strength. Uh, all right, let's go to the blue spot here. This is the same exact proof point as the Red Breast Cast Strength uh, Small Batch. And this is just a much more rounded out, delicious type of uh, flavor experience. I mean, the pineapple, the nuttiness, the sherry influence, the raisin, uh, you're definitely getting a little bit of like a, I think it's like a roasted chestnut characteristic, the mintiness that comes through. I mean, it's, it's all there. 
Man, vanilla, cinnamon, all on the back end as well. Yeah, it's like you could taste every different cask that Blue Spot used to craft this. You, you get the fruitiness from the Oloroso, you get a little bit of the nuttiness from the Madeira, you get the vanillas and the caramels from the ex-bourbon. I mean, just that combination really rounds it out. And this being the same exact proof as this, the, the Blue Spot being the same proof as the Red Breast small batch uh, cast strength, I mean, you can just tell how differently this drinks. The Red Breast is just coming through just a lot more just punch you in the face. And while some may like that, um, I'm actually enjoying the experiences more I'm getting from the Red Breast 12 and the Blue Spot over the new Red Breast Cast Strength Small Batch. One last sip of each, then we'll wrap it up. Man, roasted chestnut, vanilla, caramel, all of it. The mintiness right on the back end, a little bit of pepper on the back end too. The Blue Spot is just ridiculous. All right, back to the Red Breast Cast Strength now, coming right off of this. It's good, it's just a lot less interesting. It's, you know, for the price for 103 bucks, you know, I kind of want more out of this one a little bit. I mean, I know it's a, it's a limited edition, it's a US exclusive, but compared to the Blue Spot, and now let's compare it real quick to the Red Breast 12. Yeah, even this one, it's just more rounded, more sherry influence, the bite on the back end, I mean, nine years old, three years old more for the Red Breast 12 than the Red Breast Cast Strength uh, small batch. Makes a huge difference, it really does. All that that grassy and that uh, the bite that it has, the herbal quality is on the back of the uh, Red Breast Small Batch Cast Strength is, is uh, you know, kind of taken away by, you know, when you compare it to the Red Breast 12 Cast Strength. Um, not to say that this is bad at all. I, I do enjoy this, I do think the Red Breast Cast Strength small batch it's a pretty good the one thing i don't like about this i don't like the price of it i don't like this at 103 dollars um i think that's my biggest beef it's a younger whiskey it's non h stated i don't think it's nearly as rounded in flavor and as complex as what you got from the old red breast 12 cast strength and what you're getting with the blue spot now unfortunately um the blue spot is really hard to get uh it will be it, it will be coming back you know as time goes along but these are going to sell out really fast whenever they drop uh and again the red breast 12 cast strength we're not really sure what's happening with this one we do feel like it's going away i do like this red breast you know i think it's good for what it is but this is to me is like it, this is a this is a 60 dollar irish whiskey to me it's cast strength I do realize that there's some, some good maturation going on here. Um, but if you like that combination, I, I feel like you should just drink the Lustau. But I could see if, um, and, and it's also cheaper. The Lustau goes for about, what, 70-ish dollars. Uh, so you save about 30 something dollars from this. Uh, if you like that cask maturation, I just don't think the, the bump in, in proof versus what you get in the flavor and on the finish is worth the $103, $105 price point on the uh, Red Breast Cast Ring Small Batch. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed the review for the brand new Red Breast Small Batch Cast Strength Irish Whiskey. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this yet, if this was up to your expectations, what you thought about it. Again, I think it's good. I think it's a solid Irish Whiskey. I just don't think it's $105 good. I'd like to see this, like I said, at about 60 to 70 to maybe even 80 bucks. Uh, even that though, I think is still pushing it. I probably would rather spend the money on the Lustau over this, uh, given what you're getting, or just go find, you know, go hunt a Blue Spot 7 or some of those old Red Rush 12 cast strength releases. Um, but other than that, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers. Uh, coming up is a uh, little St. Patty's Day. We'll definitely have some more Irish whiskeys that we're going to be trying. So cheers, and I'll see you next time on the Mash and Drum. Take care, everybody.